Tortoise vs. the Hare, The Rematch Written by Preston Rutt, read by Grandpa Tom Good evening, sports fans. I'm Johnny Fox. Welcome to Race Night Live. You join me this Saturday night from the treehouse for the build-up to the most exciting race of the year. It's the big one. It's Tortoise vs. Hare, The Rematch. In red, we have our challenger, former champion land speed record holder, the fastest fur in the forest, Harry the Hurricane Hare. In blue, we have the athlete who caused one of the biggest sporting upsets in history. It's the one, the only, the defending champion of the wood, Steady Eddie Tortoise. Let's look back on an absolutely astounding week. On Monday, our runners arrived, and wow, what a scorcher. The sun was so hot, the tortoise didn't train at all. Hare shadowboxed all day long in the burning heat, and boy, he was strong as an ox. On Tuesday, we woke up to a wicked westerly wind. It was so blustery that tortoise didn't train at all. Hare chased leaves in the ghastly gale. And boy, he was fast as a cheetah. On Wednesday, it rained cats and dogs. The downpour was so dreadful that the tortoise didn't train at all. Hare swam widths of the wide, wild river. And boy, was he menacing as a shark. On Thursday, the hail hammered down. The hailstones were so huge that tortoise didn't train at all. Hare played golf with the humongous balls of ice. And boy, he was powerful as a tiger. On Friday, it blew a blizzard. The wind was so wild, the air so cold, and the snow so thick that tortoise didn't train at all. At all. Hare trained harder than ever. He raced, chased, swam, and ran. And boy, he was fit as an arctic fox. Now it's Saturday night. It's time. Time to stop the chat and start the stopwatches. Time to learn who's the champ and who's the chump. Time for Tortoise versus Hare, the rematch to begin. Over to you, Cat Freeman, at trackside. Thanks, Johnny. I'm here with Hare and Tortoise. Hare, you've been training hard. Can you win back your crown? I'm good. Just too good for the wood. I'm going to make Tortoise look like a Christmas pud. There's only one runner should rule this neighborhood. Understood? Er, thank you, Hare. Tortoise, what do you say to that? Well... Sorry, Tortoise. I have to stop you there. The race is about to start. Back to the studio. Thanks, Cat Sports fans. I'm Johnny Fox, and we are... Ready? Steady? Go! They're off! Hair's away! Oh, my. Tortoise is still, um, at home. Hair is so fast, and Tortoise is so slow. Oh, wow! Watch Hair go! And Tortoise is finally <clears throat> into his stride. Oops, a daisy. But wait, I don't believe it. Tortoise has turned this race upside down. Here comes the finish line, and it's oh so close. Go, go, go. Go crazy, folks. We have a winner. Incredible. Tortoise is beaten here by a hare. He's still the undisputed, undefeated champion of the wood. And the crowd's gone wild. Phew. I don't know about you, but after all that excitement, I think I need to sleep. I've been Johnny Fox. You've been an amazing audience. Thank you and good night. <clears throat> I said good night. Excitement over. Close your eyes now, please. Thank you. Good night. The End